I absolutely think that the innovator of the future competition this year was beneficial. I'm Scott Harrell. The, I'm a mechanical engineering student at Rowan Cabarrus Community College. This year's Innovator of the Future uh, competition, the part was to make a capo for a guitar. We didn't even know what that was. So on that side of it, it was really nice because we had something that we had no background in and we had a fresh way of thinking about it. Before the Innovator of the Future competition this year, I didn't have a lot of experience at Mastercam. And going through something like this from an initial concept to a finished product, I believe we went through six or seven design changes before we actually got one that worked. And one of the nice things about using Mastercam was we knew that the machine was going to do exactly what Mastercam said it was going to do. So we didn't have to worry about the machining part of it. We're like, it was something like this where it's a one-off part, all the variables, and Mastercam took the machine variables out of it. So we knew the machine was solid, so we just had to worry about our part and our design. There's a lot of things you can learn from a classroom environment, but until you do something outside the box, you do something one-off that you designed yourself, you have a principle behind it that you believe in and you're proud of, and you go through and work out those kinks, you, you can't get that experience anywhere else unless you do those things. I think that the capo was a great idea. Uh, it's something that I think a lot of people in the engineering program or a machine uh, technology program probably didn't have a lot of experience with or a lot of uh, contact with before that. But I, and I think that, that makes the project better because they have to go through and, and design those things and do the research on it and figure out what the criteria is to make the part. Yeah.